Hi, my name is Laura Campbell, um, and this is my husband, Scott Campbell. Um, I have renal cell carcinoma, stage four, with METs to the liver. Um, it's been a journey. Um, but with all the new stuff that they have out there, it's amazing, the knowledge, the technology, the medicine. It, it, it is truly amazing. I've been stage four for four years. Um, and just this past August, I was told that I'm cancer free. Um, when it all started, I didn't have normal symptoms. What felt like equilibrium would come and go, so I ignored it. Um, until one day when so, a fellow coworker said, Laura, I turned around and I hit the floor. I had no idea what was going on. Well, what had happened is I had a 10 0.7 centimeter tumor in my kidney. Um, everything happened so fast. If there was anything that I could share with other people starting this journey or in the midst of their journey is pay attention, really pay attention to your body. Don't hesitate, don't push it aside and say I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Um, I, I had no pain where logically you would think it was, which was the kidney. And again, it was the equi like equilibrium turned out to be the tumor that was causing all this. So please get to a doctor, don't ignore it. There's hope. When it first hit, I felt like a deer in headlights. I was frozen. But then you educate yourself and with the cancer, Kidney Cancer Association, that was a beginning for me. I didn't chime in on the chat lines. I was too shy, I don't know why. But I was encouraged by other patients' stories. And the strength that they have. It's just, I just want you to know there's hope. Don't give up. And faith. Jesus is my savior, and I've known that forever. We all walk away sometimes, and I think we think we know it all. but. On those very low days, you reach so deep inside. And I've got to tell you, one day it was so clear. And, and just because it came one day doesn't mean that it was so every day. But I could hear the Lord saying, scooch over to the, in the passenger seat because I'm the driver. And I'm driving this vehicle. And you keep your eyes on me. Believe in me. What better hands can you be in? whether you're here or there, and when you know and you feel it, it is just discomfort because he is going to control it. We can't sit back and look and go, okay, you're going to control it. We have to walk. Even if that day all we can do is take one step, there's hope and you can do it. You just got to believe and latch on to family and if you're tired take a nap don't feel guilty and yes we worry about the bills don't worry about the bills because they're going to be there focus on getting better this is your fight and it's a fight of a lifetime but you know what you can beat it i know you can best wishes and god bless and i'm scott campbell and i'm here to say that 10 years later that we're free and we're happy and that you can learn to love life, oh, live yeah. life day by appreciate day, it. and appreciate your days. And he was never easy on me either, by the way. <laughs> he pushed hard, and him and my friend Leanne were like a tag team, and I didn't know it until they tell me afterwards. One could only go so far with me, because I might have been really annoying that day. You need, to, <laughs> you need to have your support group, and utilize them, and lean on them, because it's not easy. I would like to add one more thing. You know, in life, you're used to doing everything for yourself. So one of the hardest things for me when things got tough was to rely on everybody. They'd say, what, what do you need? What can we do? And you don't say anything because you're so used to it or you think I can do it. It's OK to feel the way you feel. And if your body is telling you take a nap, don't feel guilty. But utilize your friends, your family, your doctors. Don't be afraid to ask those questions. Maybe you say, oh, it doesn't matter, or I feel stupid. It does matter, you matter, it's your body, it's your life, and we are blessed with the people with the knowledge that are there to help us. So 
advocate, do what you need to do, and try to bring somebody with you to the office because as the patient, you do shut down and, and bring that notepad and they can take notes because you don't always get everything. But seek help and just enjoy life. God bless you.